An empty page, a story to I'm eat hard. Eat hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice cheeses. Mm -hmm. I love that. Fish, mm -hmm. bread, graves. Love it. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we go fishing. Yep. Very excited. Tomorrow we're going to go worming. Worming, actually. Mm -hmm. Worming first, and then we go fishing. Apparently the worms are like this long. Oh, wow. And you get some fish, and then you like jiggle it around in the surface, and they come up out of the sand. Wow. And then apparently you pull them out, and they're like that long. All right. And they bite, maybe, so. <laughs> All right, done deal. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys, what is happening? Hope everyone's doing well. This video is going to be very, very different, actually. We're not going to go uh, hunting. <laughs> we are up here in... Um, we went to Sydney first, met my dad. And now we're here in um, Port Macquarie. Um, it's called Dunbogan, by the way, meeting my uncle. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna go worming today, and we're actually gonna go fishing. Um, they say in the rivers, there is bull sharks there, all sorts of sharks. So uh, very, very excited to see what we're gonna catch. Anyways, we're gonna have a look in there. Don is gonna explain what we're gonna use for worming today. And um, yeah, let's have a look. All right, Don, what is going on, legend? All right. Now, because we're doing beginning worming, yes. we've got uh, some pliers here. These are worming pliers. Okay, so yeah. these are my ones here, because I'm still a beginner wormer. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna, we're gonna take these down to the beach, go worming down there. Yeah. And the thing is, what we need is to go worming, if no one knows how to go worming, is we get a stocking. Okay. Which is here, I'll just undo. Um, yeah. All right. All is that yourself. from is that from your wife or which ones? <laughs> it's, it's from the uh, the, uh, the guest house up the road. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so you put the pilchers in there. Pilchers in there, and what what happens then is when they uh, fall out, you tread on them and make them be mushy, and then the scent comes out of the the stocking. Yeah. You wave it around, and then the little worms, or it could be big worms coming out of the sand. Okay. Put the heads up, seeing what's the eat. Yeah. And then you've got to position yourself, as you'll see further down the video. All right, okay. You yeah, position yeah. yourself, and the worm will come up, and you grab its head there, very I'm the, sensitively. I'm like, the worm right now, okay? So yeah. this is the worm, it's coming out of the sand. Coming there, and you got to get in there without it even knowing. As soon as you touch it, it'll go. That's full. And then you've got to go, bang. As soon as you grab it, yeah. you hook it without too much pressure. You don't want to rip its head off. Okay. And bring the worm, the worm up. But you don't pull All them right. out of the sand because you'll snap their head off. So you've got to hold the pressure on there. Yeah. Wait for them to wriggle yeah, a little wait bit. Wait they release. And then they'll release. Okay, so you hold pretty much pressure on it. Wait till yeah. they wiggle and then slowly pull them up. So we'll see how many heads you snap. Okay, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it happens today. I'm yeah. Like, so, but, but it's so much fun. So relaxing. Love it. And also in the river, I uh, just had a, a little chat to the, the audience. And um, they, there's actually bull sharks out there as well. Yeah, they come in from the ocean and they, they travel throughout the rivers. Yeah? They do. Okay. Did any, did ever anything bad happen up here, or like when the kids go swimming and stuff? No, no. I'm surprised there hasn't been. Okay, Must that's be good. Because we've got such active marine life up here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the rivers are full of fish. Amazing. Well, very excited to head down there. And hey, by the way, with the worms, um, what are we gonna fish? That, let, so let's just say we catch ten worms. Like, um, how, what are we gonna go for then tomorrow when we go out in the in, on, in the uh, tinny? Um, the tinny uh, would be brim. Brim, yeah. Hook on a brim. Yep. And love the worms. Also flatties. Flatties, okay, yes. cool. And also um, whiting. Whiting. And when they get big enough, like we get the big whiting, we call them horse whiting. Horse whiting, they okay. They look like they've got a horse's head on them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That'll cool. Be good eating. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. let's rock and roll. What do you guys reckon? Let's yeah. do it. Let's go. Yeah, we'll get down to the beach. All right, Dom, what's now? Is it high tide or what is it at the moment? Uh, high tide, coming under high. But for worming, it's always best to go low tide. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the way the timing is. So we okay. get our high. But also, it's always best to go fishing at high. Okay, yeah, definitely. So worming low, fishing high. So. And why is fishing the best way when it when it's high tide? Because uh, it forms gutters. And yeah. the gutters are... Where it's closer, we can see the deeper water close to the beach. Yeah, okay. The sandbar all the way out. Yeah. Um, 
and the fish come in the gutters. They come in to, for food, to feed. And then okay. swim along and then swim back out. All right, awesome. Well, let's get into worming, hey? Yeah, get your hands crossed. All right, step. So this is going to be your worming bucket. Cool. Uh, what you do is you got your little um, worming flies in there. Yep. When the UUC is going to get worming, and also in here, something I prepared earlier is you got the stocking. Yeah. And in the stocking, we've got pillies we normally use. You can use old fish that you've caught, say, day before. Yep. Okay. So I tie this on? Yeah, tie that on. So any special technique to uh, that? Or just around your waist. Just, just, your just get it in there. Yeah. And the worm in the bucket is just uh, when you pull the worm up, wet yep. it in the bucket. Okay, so cool. You, so you've got somewhere to put it. Because yeah. uh, we're begin, beginner wormers, we're yeah. using pliers. Okay. But they, you, the guys that have uh, got the technique going, they just use their fingers. Okay. Which right. is... So do you use the fingers like that or...? No, oh, like that. You sort of go, so your thumb's at the bottom. Yeah. And then the one's on the top and you, you hook it around. So it's okay. a whole heap of technique. And uh, the smell would flow down there with the waves? Yes. And then... The scent. The yes. worm would go up here. And you go, so if you're fast enough, you go like, like that and hold him, or how does it? When he, when he comes up, yeah. you're going under. Under, yeah. You can't touch him. Yeah, because as soon as you touch him, he's gone, he's gone yeah? yeah? So you get under, and when he's having a feed, bang. Okay. And you gotta do enough pressure to hold him, but yeah. not too much pressure where you put his head on, okay. and pull him out. Now that is not easy at all, I have to say. I mean, the waves are coming in. You definitely need to have patience, hey? So, similar with hunting. <laughs> but we'll see how we go, hey? We'll see how we go. Went all the way up there. Don and Steph are down there, so see how they went. But I'm um, still excited. I can't wait to pull out one at least, so we'll see how we go. It looks like a big boy there. Yes. Oh yes. They are tiny ones, eh? The waves, yeah, but we on to something now. <laughs> Very finicky. Maybe all the dolphins out there scared the worms away. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Max is going in. <laughs> yeah. Yes, even with the pliers, even if they one little little touch of the plier, they're gone. <laughs> I got one. You got one? My father got one. No chance. Oh, the white Okay. Coming. Okay. Uh -oh. uh oh. All right. All right. It should be still. Oh, it's still there. It's still there. Okay. Don't pull. They said, do not pull. Okay. Don't pull just yet. Don't pull just yet. Okay. Right. Can't pull, eh? Nah, I can't. I gotta wait for it to release. But it's not coming out. Otherwise, okay. doesn't you break the head off? Oh yeah. But there's a wave gonna be coming in. Coming slowly up there. That's it. Coming up. Good job. Good job. Oh yeah! <laughs> Holy oh. shit! Oh, that's half a meter nearly! <laughs> wow! Oh, 
Well done. How you doing, boys? Nice job. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. How do you do it? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Well, that's slow. <laughs> Well done, hey. It's like shooting a big boy, hey? That has taken me so long to get one. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Woo! Well, what do you reckon? Let's bang him on a fishing rod, hey? I'm going to put him in here. In here, okay. Oh, what the hell? Good job. Yes! Well done. No way. He's on to another one. Oh, oh, baby one. All I want. Doesn't count. <laughs> Woohoo! Look how hard he squeezed the head, it turned white. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make sure it didn't get away. 100%. Well done, Dale. Thanks. Good on ya. Well, now we're, ooh, now it's 2-0. Two, 2-1. Two ah, sorry, 2-1. Two 2-0. Two Down playing myself. Alright, well, but the big boy is still in there. Alright. We believe the King Lock to meet us, so let's see how we go. Got another one. Small one this time. Nice. Well done, though. How many have you got? Uh, three. Oh, okay. Two. So three, two. Three, two. Hey? All right. All right. Well done. It's old. <laughs> oh, you just got <laughs> smashed by that wave. Good job, Dale. Come on, get it out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, right there. Oh, two. Yeah. Oh my goodness! That is so long! Holy! Oh my goodness! Would you look at that? <laughs> Hold it up! Hold it up next to you! In, oh. in a bit closer! Well, that's a big boy! Wow! <laughs> Good job! Alright, let's get back onto it. Let's get back Woo. Onto it. Woo. Oh my goodness, we just saw a dolphin! Where is it? There it, it went that way. CFF Oh that my fish. goodness, we were just talking about that! I think it's hooked to the Oh my goodness, that was incredible! How quick was that? That was incredible! We just were just talking about dolphins going across the gutters and one just jumped in front of us. A, yeah. yeah. Not, not if there's one, there's a whole pod. Guys, what is happening? What's going on, Steph? Just all set up. Getting all this ready. Yeah, caught Most a couple of, of thanks to Jane and Don. A couple of fish. Don, what are you cooking there? Uh, some snags on the barbie. Nice. We've got um oh. Tweezio snag and the godfather snags, which are chili, cheese, wow, and other ingredients in it. Awesome stuff. We got a bit of salad. Oh, you can see on the table there. There's heaps Oxygen. of stuff here. All right. And also tomorrow, are we going fishing tomorrow? All day long? We're going to go in the tinny. Nice. If you want to see the tinny, like a little yes. fish shot, come yes. around this way. Turn the light on. Is the tinny ready to go. Tinny right there. Awesome. Good little molder. I know it's only, a, here. it's only a 15 holes, but, but hey, when plenty we... power for the uh, little tinny. 100% because last time when we drove it, that is actually really powerful for that little boat there, I have to uh, say. Yeah. That little chair. Yeah. Move it around. Move it around. Very comfy. Good stuff. Another chair here. A couple of rot holders there. All right. Well, and there she goes. So let's have some food. All day tomorrow up to Watson's Island Lake. Nice. So awesome stuff. Well, a good run. Let's get some protein in, uh, in us and then tomorrow we smash it up. Smash it up, yes. We've got a full fuel tank because we'll need it. 100%. Yeah, but it's going to be good fun. All right, super pumped for tomorrow. We went uh, fishing today, myself and Steph, just off the rocks. 
and caught a flat, a flat head and also two brims was really good really good but tomorrow I'm trying to catch a couple of more fish and then we're gonna have some nice dinner tomorrow night so yeah I'm gonna go back to uh, tonight's dinner and uh, see you guys tomorrow Now that day is unbelievable. Right next to North Haven, pretty much. Deers walking around in the paddocks. Look at this. There's a deer right there. Wild. That's a wild deer. <laughs> unbelievable. Look at that. Look at this. You can just tell that they are 100% safe. Yeah. 100% safe. The, the kangaroos in the back there. is right there. They're wild. Now they are wild deer right next to the road. That is absolutely incredible. Where are we going? Nowhere really. Not huh? fast. <laughs> no, we're, we're fast. We're going to get to Queen's Lake. Yep. Um, up here in um, Laurenton, Dunbogan, North Haven, the Golden Triangle. Yeah, all right. So we're going to put it in down Dunbogan Park. Yep. Get in there and then this cruise up to Queen's Lake, Amaya, the Eagle Nest. Amazing. And up the top there, the lovely sandbank we can only accessible by boat. Get some flatties and uh, Look at it, it's brim right there. You can already see them on the plate with garlic, butter, salt, pepper, nice salad. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here, We're ready to rock and roll, that boat is on fire, that is actually really really fast, so, man, we really saw a couple of fish jumping around, very very pumped, see what we can get today for dinner, so very very excited. Seth, putting sun cream on, the sun's very strong today, so, we're going to better put a lot of sun cream on, and uh, so we don't get burned. This is so nice here. And Lucy, and Lucy, who really wanted to be all of it? Yeah. South America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the eagle. Oh, yes. Very different to um, hunting, but the good part is that up there, they're actually, what are they? What deer? What, what kind of deer? Uh, we've been told there is Rusa and Chitel. Roos and Chattel, okay. Up there somewhere. So Man. Hopefully we can go for a bit of a drive later on, maybe at night time, see some crossing the road. Yeah. That'll make our trip. Definitely, all right. And hopefully we can catch a nice dinner, yeah? Okay. Well, here I just got the sinker there, just slides up now like the floating sinker for there. Um, it's got a little rubber stop so it doesn't slam on the um, finger bob in the middle, as we call it. And I've got a different pedal line, like this is actually stronger, so they, uh, they bite call, under it. They call that leader usually, don't they? Yeah. yeah a bit of leader. Yeah, so they bite under it, it's, um, it's not going to snap. 
Awesome. Amazing. So, so just a nice little boat rod. So pretty much the sinker goes out, goes on the ground. As soon as the fish pulls the line, Don will feel it on his end, but the sinker stays in place. So that means the fish doesn't, doesn't feel the feel weight. Any uh, resistance because as soon as some of the fish feel resistance, they let go straight away and they go on. So that's a really good system. I love it. I love it. Great stuff. Oh, Peyton, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So Don, is that one of those horse whiting you were telling me about? No, it's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. Oh, cool. But I uh, hooked him on a prawn. Beautiful. What sort of prawns were they? Just uh, normal bait prawns? Little bait prawns, yeah. Yep. It was nice. Beautiful. Well and done. Tide's still coming in, but I think it's going to be on the turn soon, so I won't tell you where we are because it's a secret. It's a fisherman's secret where we are. <laughs> well, you could tell us, but then you'd have to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome stuff, yeah, well boy. done. So we're uh, gonna unhook him and throw him back. Yeah, awesome. Lovely. <laughs> Good save. Good save. No, I did a trial. Trying our luck for a bit of flatty this morning. Marcus caught a really decent sized one yesterday, about 40 centimetres. I caught a couple of uh, nice eating sized brim. So off the we'll, rocks. Yeah, off the rocks, not out in the boat. So we'll see what we can catch today. But the water is like glass, as you can see. It's amazing. Um, we've pulled up to a really nice area around here, which you can see behind me is going to be really great for, yeah, maybe some nice flatties. What do you reckon, Don? What else can we catch here? Uh, hopefully horse, white, horse whiting. Uh, and brim. Beautiful. Horse yeah, and uh, uh, flatties, because I have caught some good sized flatties here. Awesome. Um, but the river's like glass today. Amazing. It's just amazing. The weather, or oh, nature's just turned it on for us. Unreal. But today we're going to use prawns. Give Just give the prawn a go. Prawns, and then also we're going to have a cook up tonight. Yep. So very excited for that. We, we, as Steph said, we caught two brim yesterday and flathead, so hopefully we can add something to it. Banging on a barbecue tonight and have a good feast so yep. we'll see how we go don he's on good job don first one first one of the day yeah, well woohoo yeah. i think he's undersized there yeah. yeah he's a bit under don's first fish beautiful now we have to find the big one mm -hmm. so. all right guys well really really good news over there right over there some real big jumped up and we could we could see it jumping and we don't know what it was maybe kingfish brim we don't know so but we know now we're in a really really good area so we'll see how we go we've got prawns we've got squid so super excited it's always good to know that there is something big in the area um, just never know what's gonna happen so Eat of us three, we've got a bit. I've got a very good feeling we're gonna catch something for tonight. So, and if we're lucky enough, there's actually National Park just here. Yeah. Could see some deer coming down. Yeah, like yesterday, like you guys already saw the kangaroo jumping across. Yeah, that was awesome. Wouldn't be surprised if there was gonna be a deer. So, anyway, keep, keep you guys updated and see how we go. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, Jesus! Oh wow! wow, wow. That's a big fish there. Oh, slowly, 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 slowly. You ready, Marcus? Yes, yeah, slowly. Oh, yes, that's a oh. flathead. That's a big flathead. Well done, Dom. Watch out, watch out. Yeah. That is a flathead. Holy shit. Look at that size. <laughs> That's Look at that size. Ice. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's oh. a flathead. Oh, wow. Well done, Don. Well done, Don. 
What's your, oh what's my! Spikes? Is that yep. poisonous? That's the biggest flatty I've ever seen. That is a sight. That's the pilly. Remember what I put? I tried yeah. the pilly. Yeah. Oh, my God. oh. Is that one Wow. Okay, well, we're not moving. No, <laughs> that is a oh flathead and a half. Wow. No, that's a flathead. Look at these guys. Done. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done, um, yeah, half a pilly. Small half pilly. <laughs> we were just about to pack Back up. up. And then we said, you know what? Let's just use pilchards, all three of us. And then I said to Don, the, the hook may be a little bit too small. Yeah. But then you said, let's try it anyway. Yeah. yeah? And we stopped. We I left it in, put a bit of sun cream on, and in that space of five minutes, yeah, caught this little monster. Man, well done, Don. Wow. That is incredible. I reckon that's got to be one of the biggest flatties I've ever seen. It, it's my biggest flatty. Is I've oh, ever caught in my life. That's incredible. Well and that's gonna go very well tonight on the plate with some nice green salad and maybe some nice sauce. Yes. yes. So we're gonna smash that down tonight. And, and a sharp knife. Yeah. And yeah. Now we know. <laughs> As we learn. And now we know what kind of big boys are in here in that river. Whoa. I mean, that is amazing stuff. Look at the color on him. Don't do that at home. Oh, we are on. We are on, Dal. Hold on, that just jumped out of the water. This net's here. Did it jump out of the water? Well done, Dal. Alright, uh, you got this done? Slowly, done, slowly. You got this? Get him up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, nice, Flatty. Man, not too much, not too much pressure. Oh my goodness, get him in, get him in, get him in. Well done, well done. Wow, look at that flathead. Well done. Well done, Steph. Hold on. Man, all right, that is incredible. <laughs> look at that flathead. Oh, Steph. That is my biggest flatty I have ever caught. <laughs> well done. Holy <gasps> shit. Oh man, that's I reckon a... that's, that's in line with yours, Don. Wow. Yeah, well, easy, easy, because look at the girth on it. <gasps> what? Can you see that? Look at the fillets. That is amazing. Can you see the beautiful colour? Show us. Yeah. Hold on, we're going to swap sides. So, I think these are, I'm pretty sure they're called a dusky flathead, but that is, to date, my biggest flatty I've ever caught. <laughs> I'm wow. like out of breath here, that's how excited I am. Hold him higher, Steph. Wow. We had to bring him in with the net for sure. Yeah. Well and, um, done. As Steph brought him in, or her in, uh, the line boat in, in the uh, in the boat in the boat. Thank no you. way. Uh, oh my goodness! Hey, well done. That's look, a big flathead. Look at the colour on that. Look at his hair. What a day. Oh my what goodness. What a day. How good that? Like, what a team. Thanks, Don. 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 Don he brought him in you. with the net. Steph was behind the behind the wheel. Yep, wow. that is absolutely incredible. And all I was using was a bit of squid this time. Squid? So squid. just a single running sinker, just a small sinker. How big do you reckon those sinkers are, Don? Um, probably like a marble. A little, little marble sized sinker. Marble size. Just a running sinker with a little um, plastic on the end to stop it from going up and down. Then just a single single hook. What are they, little, little mustard hooks? Yes. Wow. Yeah, the little, um, like a, the shank hook, the long. Yeah, shank mustard hook. And did it take off straight away or was he like shaking uh, just, a little? Just nibbled along at it, just cast um, not too far off the bank over there, so we just cast okay. it over there. A few nibbles and then took it, took the whole thing. Okay, so there's like a sand, like a sand bank right over there. And Steph, she cast right there. Look at that big boy. Oh my goodness. Well done. Well done. That so, well done. Incredible. Well, one We're thinking about moving again. Yeah, well, I, I believe we stay here now, guys. Yeah, 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 like, oh. <laughs> okay, well, let's, yeah, yeah. that is dinner. Two and biggest flat, like, that's the biggest flatty I've caught for me. Yeah, Steph caught Steph the biggest. This might be her biggest flatty. That is, yeah. But they catch two big flatties wow. within an hour and a half of each other. Wow. That's just it. Such a good job, guys. <laughs> and 
I only caught a cold today. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Today's not over. Today's Goes not to show over. who the uh, best fishermen are then on the boat. Well yeah. done. Did we win at darts too? Yeah, actually we did. <laughs> Me and Don. You yeah, guys are the, darts. the elite fishermen <laughs> right there. Don and Steph. Oh, well done. Right. Congratulations, Steph. We'll get the rods back in the water. Good job. All right, so I'm just going to re-rig my rod because that last floody actually just broke away the line. So what I'll do is, there's a sinker a small marble size like Don said running sinker so I'll pop that little red ball on the line and then pop one of these on here swivel and then we'll tie it off and then I've got some what's this 50 pound leader is it or 20 pound 20 pound 20 pound leader just to stop the floodies because they've got pretty sharp teeth teeth from cutting the line and then we'll attach that to the other side of the swivel, up oh, the swivel here, and then that's it. And then we'll chuck one of these, one of these hooks on, and then we'll put some more squid on, and away we go. Alright, so we've got the leader here, and then I've got the swivel that I've tied on, and then up here a little bit further, you've got the running sinker, and then just a plastic ball. Yep. Now, this is just how I do it. Everybody else probably does it differently. This is the way my dad taught me. Okay, so got the leader going in through there. I'm just gonna twist it. One, two, three, four, five, about six times. And then you've got the end here. Can you see that all right? Yeah, can you see it? Yep, all right. And then we go in through this little loop at the bottom here. So we're gonna go, excuse my hands. Okay, in through that loop and then as you pull it down you can see it sort of creates a bit of a loop here at the top yeah, yeah. so then that is where you want to get the leader go back up through the that hole there yeah and then you want to pull it tight and that wow. will give you a pretty good hold on your swivel. Awesome stuff. And that's what you're doing uh, at the other end too, yep. with the hook, yeah? And then we'll add this hook on, which is just a little shank mustard hook. Yep. Not very big at all, which is perfect size for those flatty or brim or anything else that size. Okay. So we'll get that get that going and we'll just trim that piece off here. All right, and we, yeah, perfect. Good to go. We want something, we want something, guys. And it could be, it could be you're not a flatty. I don't I'm even trying to bring him in here, Don. I don't even think you're winding it in. Oh, it's going to go under those oh, logs there if you don't. Oh. That'll tighten your drag. Oh. Otherwise, it's going to go straight under a log. Get the get your line in the old oh, nice shield side. That's right. Go on. That is something good out here. That could be like a like something like your size. That's fair. Cool. Got the net. If you don't tighten your drag, you won't get it in. No, I let it go with ball. I want to make it tight. Yeah, well, it's going to go under the logs over there. So good oh, luck. Oh, could be anything, but there's some weight behind it. Oh, oh no! no. A stingray. <laughs> we caught a stingray. Oh, Damn it! No, nah, they like oh, gotta watch your tail. I was so happy. Oh no, what is it? Oh, what is it? Stumpy, it stumpy tail stingray. <laughs> oh, it's tail. Oh man. Damn it, man. Well, you're gonna have to cut the line anyway because so. Yeah, so. Just cut the line. Get it in if you want, Don. Can you get the pliers while he's in the water just there? Have you got pliers? Just get the pliers. Oh no, he's gone. Good. good. Damn it. That's good because the tail. Also, I can see Yeah. Wow. Oh, what a shame. We saw that was maybe a brim or um or a flathead. And unfortunately, it's a stingray without its um, tail. Man. Oh well, anyways, 
Okay, let's keep going and uh, we'll see maybe we get another one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> that meant to happen? That's okay. <laughs> nah, that's alright, it's just a small little brim, so... It was lucky, it was a small one, yeah? Yeah, lucky, lucky. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Fin oh, here. Yeah. 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 Go in. Down to the spine. Out there. Wow, look at the meat all the way through wow. to there. Amazing. Yeah. Then once you find the spine, you want to just go along it. Slight angle down. All the way, follow the spine. To get to about there, right? Okay. So this is just how my dad taught me. Yeah. You flip it over. Okay. Wow, that was that is actually yeah. where you can see the spine there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now you want to keep it attached here. Yep. To the skin. You want to get your filling knife. You want to go down. Keep it on an angle. Yep. And you want to just go against the board, holding onto the skin here. Yep. As you go, keeping the knife on a bit of an angle. That'll usually get the skin off really Good well. Good job. That looks like you've done it before, hey? <laughs> well done. Wow, well that. I mean, I've never done one this big and I can see it's not that all is, coming off on the back, but. That is amazing. A couple of spine pieces to go through. Wow, sure, sure, it's a fillet. Well, that is a fillet. If there's any pieces left on the back like here, which there is, you can just go along and take them off pretty easily. Wow. Which is no big deal. That is, that okay. is going to right. taste amazing. So that's not all though, because there is actually a line that runs down here. Yeah. To about there of bones. Yeah, okay. Alright, so what you want to do Cut is you want to lay it there on the board. You want to feel where the bones are, line the knife up, and cut through. Yeah. Okay. And then on the other side as well, so we're gonna go here. Mm -hmm. Cut all the way through, and then that will usually yeah. remove the whole spine piece, and then you'll get these beautiful, lovely bloody fillets no wow. no bones at all in them that is amazing well beautiful well done let's cut the other ones up yep. and then yeah what are we going to do with them actually gonna, we're going to put them in a pan or what do you want to do going to crumb these and then we'll just shallow fry them okay well this is great stuff i'm going to have that today what about beautiful meat wow that is amazing good job and then we're going to have a uh, nice lunch over there Look at this nice backyard. Donnie made it so, so, so nice. I'm gonna play a little darts over later. there. Darts yeah. later. So, now you can see that. I mean, that is a decent size wow. flatty fillet. That's beautiful. Well done. Well done.
That salad looks pretty good, Don. Who made that? Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Alright, what a dinner that was. Unbelievable. So, thank you so much for having us, Jane, Don. It was an amazing fish. And um, yeah, the fruit was incredible. Steph, thanks for making the, <laughs> the, schnitzels. the schnitzels. The schnitzels. It was incredible. The Very floody, nice. the floody, crumb floody. Yeah. What did you guys think of the uh, the meal? Oh, awesome. Beautiful. Absolutely Beautiful. awesome. Beautiful. Awesome. The yeah, crumb flat. I like both dishes. Yes. Yeah. Which one did you like better, actually? They're always there. They're absolutely both beautiful in their own taste. Because awesome. the green ones, they've never had the flavors like that. Yeah. The green. And they've never had flavy like that either. Okay. So both, both beautiful. Uh, so, so you like mine fish. better? Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my recipe here. <laughs> no, they're both good. They're both really good. The salad was nice too. Anyways. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everybody and um, next we will be up here again with Don. We're going to go most likely crabbing the next time. So very, very excited for that. And maybe we're going to go after bull shark next time, Don. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> yeah, bull shark. because there's bull sharks in that river there. And, <laughs> and the ocean meets the river. The river meets the ocean, I should say. Yeah. And there is bull sharks in that river there. So we, we mm. really want to go after one of these. So we'll see. Anyways, we'll we see wrap that. it up. Thanks for thanks, watching again, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for having us, guys. And um, yeah. Until happy, next time. Happy Until fishing time. and happy hunting. And go after the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha